hey y'all welcome to my channel if you are not already subscribed to my channel please take the time to subscribe now i got some good information for y'all okay so this video is a review um on the greyhound bus and i'm gonna tell you guys my experience on the greyhound bus i had two very different experiences on the bus for one trip okay so the whole reason why we're even on the Greyhound bus is because my son, my four-year-old, he wanted to travel on an airplane. So for my birthday, I wanted to take him to San Antonio because he is obsessed with whales and I wanted him to see whales. So I'm looking for a flight high and low, high and low. And there is no flight that is less than $300. Like there are clo the, the flights are almost $400. I live in Dallas. San Antonio is four hours away. I would drive before I spend $400 a piece for us to go four hours away. So I hate driving and I wanted my son to have an experience because we've done road trips before. We had just done a road trip. So um, I wanted him to have a different kind of experience and, you know, something he could get excited about. So um I was looking into the mega bus, but the mega bus, the times were bad because I really was just going one day and coming back the next day. So I didn't want to have to spend another day just to ride the mega bus. So I looked up the Greyhound. Now the mega bus was going to cost me about $25 for us both. And the Greyhound cost me 40 bucks for us both, but the times were so much better. And then when I'm looking on their website, like they got plug outlets, they have Wi-Fi. And, and I rode the Greyhound before, but I was a teenager. And back when I rode the Greyhound, baby, there were no outlets. There was, what was Wi-Fi? And I don't even think the seats had cushions. So needless to say, like I'm a little bit, excited i'm like oh my goodness so we get to the uh bus station on the 28th my birthday was the 29th so we get to the greyhound bus station on 28th early in the morning my sister decided to come it was last minute so she had this experience with us so we get we get on the bus and the bus is beautiful it's like clean and and spacious and it's practically empty and the um the bus driver, he's so nice and helpful. And um, if you travel with the child, then you get to board first so that you sit with your child or your children. So we did that, picked our seat, you know, kind of to the front, but not all the way to the front. Like, it was so awesome, y'all. Like, it was just a great experience. I brought my laptop, did a little bit of work. My son had his tablet. Um, we, we were sightseeing, the windows were big. He was so excited. Um, um, I don't even think he took a nap, but he did not act up like he was so good. And, um, we didn't go to the bathroom cause I don't, mm -mm. I don't even like public bathrooms. So I definitely don't want to go to the porta potty that's on this bus. So I made sure he went to the bathroom first and nothing to drink until, you know, we get there. So, uh, and the bus driver did stop. <clears throat> the bus driver did stop and we were able to get off and like get snacks and um i had him go to the bathroom when we got off again so anyway the experience was fantastic like i was just like oh my god i'm gonna do this like once a month like this is so bomb so we get to san antonio and we we go to sea world um both days there's a water park and then there's a sea world park and the passes that we actually have, I actually bought a package, a vacation package, and that package allowed for me to have a room and have a, a five day pass. Like it was, it, it, it was really good. So, um, a good deal. So we did that. And then, um, I'll probably make a video about SeaWorld because it's also extremely hot out there. And I'll probably make a video to tell you what you need to bring, how to cope. Uh, we got the meal pass. I'll tell y'all about that and everything. So anyway, so that happened. So then on the 29th, we go to SeaWorld. We have our experience. And I've included a little compilation of our trip into this video. So you keep watching if you want to see that. And... um. So that same night, you know, SeaWorld closes at 6. So we left the park at 5.30, took a lift to the bus station, 
Um, oh, we went, we took the shuttle to the hotel, got our bags, and then took the lift to the bus station. Our bus left at 7.10. And um, so when we get on this bus, it's immediately different. I immediately know it's a difference. Number one, this looks like one of the buses don't have cushion on the seats. It's old. It's, ugh, it's dirty looking. So I'm like spraying Lysol, wiping stuff down before my son sits down and all of this. And the bus is filling up. Like this time, it's actually packed. My sister had to sit with somebody this time. The bus driver, oh, first of all, totally different crowd at night. Like totally different crowd at night. I would totally different crowd at night. When we went in the day, it was like older people, family, stuff like that. When we went... This time, it's like freaking, I don't know. I don't know. Just different people. So, but the weirdest person was the bus driver. The bus driver says, okay, it ain't going to be no smoking on this bus. If you smoking on this bus, I will call the police. You will go to jail if anybody smell you smoking on this bus. They have the right to call the police and send you to jail. I will pull this bus over. Do not make me pull this bus over because I will. And me and my sister are like, oh my God, this is a totally different vibe. Totally different vibe. So, okay. So we in there and then this girl, she's sitting across from me and in front of my sister. And we're, and she's like, um. Um, we're like laughing and tripping about the, about the bus driver. So, um, this girl, um, has on, um, she was cool. She was pretty and she has on this micro mini skirt. Okay. So we stop in Austin. That's where she gets off. She gets off in Austin. So when she gets off in Austin, when she gets up from the seat, my sister was like, what is that on the seat? And I'm like, where? And she's like, there. And I'm like, no. And she's like, yes. And she said, I can smell it. And I was like, no. And she said, yes. And I said, oh, my God. And she was like, it smells like fish. And I'm like, okay. So you had to know that you was leaking some type of discharge for it to be. It was like literally a puddle. And I was just like so grossed out but i was so scared that somebody was gonna sit there so i trying to be a superhero i took my lysol and i sprayed it down as much as i can and it's starting to dry like it's starting to dry it's starting to dry and so i sprayed it down but we're gonna stop anybody from sitting there people just keep passing the seat like they knew so one person was getting ready to sit there and uh -uh, you don't want those problems don't sit there so they said somewhere else, lucky for them. But that just goes to show that we don't really know what's on the seats that we're sitting on. So we shouldn't be coming in our house from sitting in public and laying in our beds with our outside clothes on. You know, take change your clothes when you come in the house. Have a, a outfit, have some sweatpants, have a little a duster, have your kid. Even my son, when, when, when my son comes from daycare, he has to change. He had to change daycare clothes before you, you're not getting in the bed and stuff like that. So that's something to keep in mind because she was sitting on the Greyhound bus, but she sat other places too. She sat in restaurants, you know, who knows? And who knows who else? People have periods, people have diarrhea, people have urine problems that's leaking. And that just made me more aware of that. And um, and that could happen any place. That's That wasn't because we were on Greyhound. We just so happened to see it. Well, maybe, but I just don't know why she didn't have something to catch it. But anyway, um, so that happened. And then when we leave Austin, I don't really know why, but it's like they woke up the bathroom. The bathroom smells like an alley that is full of piss. I mean, it is the strongest smell and it's getting louder and louder. It is so extreme that I cannot sleep. Now, thank goodness my son is asleep. He's exhausted. He, so he's knocked out. But I have done everything to try to sleep through this. I took melatonin. I'm just like, please go to sleep. And it's like, I'm being forced to have this experience. And it was so I felt like my throat was drying out. My sister is in the back suffocating herself. She keeps spraying air freshener. I keep spraying Lysol. I'm like, okay, this 
is insane. So when I'm getting off the bus, I tell the bus driver, I'm like, this, well, actually I had to run back to the bus. It's another story. But anyway, so I told the bus driver, I'm like, look, the bus smells horrible because what I didn't realize was that it was throughout the entire bus. I thought it was just us smelling it in the back, but it was the entire bus. Even they smelled it. And I'm like, he was like, oh, the vents must have been blowing it up here. No, that wasn't no vents. That was horrible. And really, after that, I got sick. And I really feel like that's why. But I can't really say that that's why. Because, you know, it could have been like an extreme sinus infection or something like that. But I was out of there. And I didn't even have a chance to contact Greyhound. Because I am going to contact them today. I'm going to send them an email explaining what happened so i had night and day experiences on the greyhound i hate to have to tell y'all the second part of the trip because the first part was so bomb but i don't know I, I even back in the day when i rode the greyhound i'd never experienced anything like that so i think that it's not common that that happens but it did happen and um it was pretty gross so my advice and the only thing that I can suggest is that you not ride the Greyhound at night and unless you absolutely have to then it's totally worth taking the chance but that you not ride the bus at night and that you sit towards the front of the bus so that you are not near the bathroom and that um um pick morning hours um it's a whole different crowd it's a different vibe it's different energy and I do believe it's different buses and um you know, because the first experience was phenomenal. The the second experience was awful. So, I don't know. So, um, that was my experience on the Greyhound. And um, I'm going to make a video about, um, you know, traveling with a child. And, you know, we're going to go on the airplane also. And uh, so that he can have that experience and then I can let y'all know and give y'all some advice and tips on traveling with kids and budget traveling because I, I'm a budget shopper. Like, that's why I refuse to buy those tickets to San Antonio on the plane. Like, I, I, I paid that much to go to Jamaica, so I'm not paying that much to go to San Antonio. So, um... Yeah, and I can just give y'all some tips. If I left anything out, if y'all have any questions about anything else, please do leave them in the comments. Um, if this video was helpful to you, please um, like, you know, also, 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 always subscribe. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for listening. Um, I can't, I'm not thinking of anything else that was crucial. Um, but again, I had two extremely different experiences on the Greyhound, on the Greyhound. One was bomb and one was bomb. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. And again, I don't know if I said that I've included a little compilation of our trip at the end of this video. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all next time. It's a video. Um. Bus we got plugs and Wi-Fi. <laughs> We've been upgraded too. Because we have to get to our destination, so they have to start driving. It was a very easy process. We bought our tickets online. Um, you do not have to go to the counter. It's um, you download it directly to your phone. Because I had a child, because I have a, I'm traveling with a child, I was able to board the bus first so that we can pick a seat together. I, I, that's just bomb. And it's a lot of leg room. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Can I do the dog face? <laughs> well, I was trying to show y'all. Can I do the dog face? Mommy, can I do the dog face? We have lots of room. And we're moving. <laughs> it's cool. There's Wi-Fi. There are outlets. He's so excited, y'all. So we are leaving from Dallas and headed to San Antonio. Very comfortable.
so far so good. Yes. What are you watching? Let us see. Aww. CKN? Yeah. <laughs> How cute. CKN. We made it, Tyler. Where's your backpack? So I like to travel on a budget and we have, <laughs> we have, we're staying at the Fairfield Inn um, by Marriott and they had a vacation package with SeaWorld that was cheaper than just booking by yourself. It's absolutely bomb. And it's a pretty nice hotel. I'm going real slow. Are you going slow? We have to be back down here to catch the bus to SeaWorld. The shuttle. It's a and shuttle. Have to go for, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Get in. And then two. And then one. No, only only two. We're two. going to the second floor. Second floor. To the second bus? Well, two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Are you like super excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> right here, 210. Oh. This is us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see where we get. Look at this bed. You like it? Yeah, this is totally good enough. I, I mean, unless you want to sleep with me and Tyler. We're headed to SeaWorld, finally. Come right here. Press this button. Oh. Press the down button. Hurry. That one? Mm-hmm. Down. The arrow that's pointing down. Yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. That was real. You want to go over there? Go ahead. This bag is matching for the view. Those are not real. Okay, so um, we're at the hotel. We caught a lift and got to the hotel in about 15 minutes. And now we're just waiting for the shuttle to SeaWorld. Get on this side, get on this side. Oh, this one. We're at SeaWorld. Yes. <laughs> on the shuttle. Oh my gosh, look how many people are here. How many people car to park? They're parking. A lot. A lot of people are here. A lot of people are here. Mm-hmm. Zero. Zero. <laughs> are you excited? Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you. Excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I heard you say exciting on purpose. Yep. He said it on I'm purpose. I'm so exciting. I'm so exciting too. I'm so excited. Me too. That so too. I'm so excited. 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 Okay, you have to wait. <laughs> so excited. So excited. It smells good, yes.
waiting to make their entrance. You see it, Tyler? I am so excited. Woo! Explorer's Reef. It's so cool. Let's go. Let's see. My baby wants to see the sharks. What is it? He's speechless. <laughs> what is it? Wow. It really is. Oh my goodness. Look at the teeth. Oh my goodness. 